if you want to upgrade Joomla, one way to do it is via FileZilla or your FTP client. Fill in your FTP address FTP, your address.com, your username, your password, and you open your Joomla file, and it will open here, and then you select everything with Ubuntu A, and then you click the right mouse button, and then you click upload, and then you upload everything in HTTP Docs. That's where you you have to upload Joomla. Joomla, by the way, you can find. It's the Joomla dot org downloads dot html. This is where Joomla will be. Now you go here. You click here. This is the full install for Joomla. But if you delete the install directory, you can use this as an upgrade package. You can also just download this, and this does the same thing. It's also possible that you have web server, and with web server, you, you have a local host. And with the logo host, you just click here. Install the upgrade. And it will automa automatically update your Joomla file. If you do an online upgrade, your database won't be fixed. If you're doing this offline or online, this update will fix your database and your enter your Joomla files. If you go to Extension Manager, System, I'm going to go to Control Panel now, I'm going to show you. If you go to Extensions, Extension Manager. You have uh, the database here, and this says it's all up to date. If it would give errors here, you have to click the Fix button. You click the Fix button, it automatically f fixes all your errors. So that, that's what it's working like. So it now, so it's now still updating our website. Almost finished now. Let's see. I like the control panel. This website is now on 3.6. So I'm going back to the extensions. Extension manager. I go back to a database. Database not up to date. It's, uh, this is the, the old version and uh, the new version is just one point higher. I'm going to click fix. I'm going to refresh this. 
And now it's all up to date. Currently on 3.3.6. There we go, back to the system control panel. Go back to Felsilla. Go back to a new website that I want to update. Okay. Going to click at the Vedocs. There we go. Now we go to select A, click upload. And in the meantime, I check out human sponsors, my website. It is working. No, in the meantime, it's updating the other website that I got. I'm going back to the web server. I'm back to my project. I'm going to check out the offline version of this website that I'm now now updating. Okay, I have to fill in local host. So this is black or white, the offline version that I'm updating. So I click update now. I click install the update. Um, this doesn't work. And I go back to my download. I'm going to do exactly what I do on the F Valzilla. I'm just going to copy everything. Go back to go back to the computer. See I go back to WIMP. I go to check WWW. And here we got black or white. I'm just going to click control page. I go to click yes. And pasting everything, my files in there. From the new Joomla installation. Now go back to Human Sponsors 3. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Another upload. Click yes. 
No, I went to Lady Lux. Let's see, this is Lady Lux, okay. These are all offline websites on ramp. Click control A. And now I only have to wait for it to install the new version of Joomla. The WAMP for some reason isn't working correctly. This is the way to update your Joomla. It's actually the same way as online. But then offline in the WAMP installation. Okay, I want this to happen all the time. So this one is now updating everything. Meantime, I check Falzilla. Still updating Black or White on the online version of my website. Okay, so since it has to wait 30 minutes for what? So there, there are now three dialogues. So three websites at the same time are updated in here. These are offline websites on WAM. My three websites. My backups are updating now. So actually at this point I don't have to do anything but wait and wait so that all the files the Joomla update are getting in the website. Checking on Palzilla. Still has 3,000 files to go. So this is an easy way to update. Two hundred and sixty seconds, human sponsors. Let's see. Now in this uh, same time we go check local host and sponsors administrator go back there to log in there we go after the wait for a while Not very fast today. There we go. Oh, well, it already says 3.3.6, but now we have updated the same way as online, so we have to go to extensions, extension manager. Go to the database. Database. Come on, be quicker. Okay. 
Okay, fix it. Okay, check to date. There we go to Lady Lux Administrator. Okay. Come on. <sighs> okay. Well, we have to go to extensions, extension manager. Extension manager. Database. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Database. It's not very quick. So, let's see. This one is still doing this. You have to click fix. To date, okay. We go back to black. All right. Let's see. Let's see. So I have got black right here. Go to extension. Extension manager. database fix So the offline version is now updated. All offline versions are updated. And now we're going back to the online version. Let's see. Still navigating. So I guess you now uh, have, have watched my tutorial and you have seen I've created three of my websites, offline and online. So I hope you like my tutorial and I hope you will be back soon to watch more of my tutorials.